Okay, I'd like to talk about the uh, couple of modes in the neonatal uh, mode on the uh, TV100. So if I go into the in nasal CPAP, high flow nasal cannula mode, and choose OK, it gives me the ability to, for instance, if I wanted to use uh, uh, nasal CPAP, I would choose pressure. And I would use my regular circuit. I'm just going to use a test lung and I can open and close the leaks just to kind of show you the difference. But if I chose my CPAP pressure of six, now there's a couple ways we can do this on these parameters. Five is entered right now. I can take the arrow up to six. I could clear that. I could enter six. Up or down arrows. When I get to where I want, just choose OK. While I'm here, I can go ahead if I want and check and change my alarm parameters. If I turn on, oops, get the box around the parameter you want to change and say OK. So I got 11 and 2, set of 6. Anytime you make a change more than 30%, it gives you this warning, change more than 30%. And a lot of times you, it, you're always changing above 30, but that's just to make sure you're not making a big change or you hit a button just to double check yourself. Yes, and if you start ventilation, you'll see basically that it's maintaining this six centimeters of pressure now, if I open this leak here on this test lung, see it kind of adds flow to maintain that pressure. If I add, open up this other leak, a little bit more, but it always maintains that regular C CPAP pressure. So that's really it for doing nasal CPAP now. Let's go ahead and stop that. And let's say we want to do high flow nasal cannula. So I'm going to change from pressure to flow. And also, you're not using your regular circuit. In this case, I'm using a heated wire circuit from Fisher and Pico. And you're just going to connect to the output. Now, normally what you would do is you would go from here to the heater because if you're going to do high flow nasal cannula, you want to heat and humidify the gas so that the patient's comfortable. But for our demo purposes here, I'm just going to connect directly. You can choose uh, flows up to 20. I haven't heard anybody really go more than about 10. So let's say eight. If I choose eight liters flow, choose okay, and start. You see the flow is that on. So if you notice our flow level, I'm set at eight. I want to make that tighter so I can see it better. See how my flow is exactly maintaining eight liters flow. So that's how you would do uh, high flow nasal cannula in the infant mode or um, infant nasal CPAP. For more products and information, please visit our website at www.biomeddevices.com.